New stars keep popping into the picture for Syracuse. Against Cornell, Dom Finn had three goals and two crushing hits. On the close defense, of course, there's All-America Pat McCain. And in the Nets, Jerry DiLorenzo has emerged as a star. 18 saves, 11 of those in the fourth quarter against Cornell. No, sir, you're not going to get it by me. His 68% save rate is the fourth best in the country. Hall of Famer Tom Hayes has never defeated Syracuse in a regular season game. The Knights did win a fall exhibition, and the last time he brought a team into the Dome, goalie John Schmunk made 25 saves. He's now a senior. He'll be back in the Nets today. Rutgers has won three straight, and they come into today's game rated number 10. Super Sports, a production of Cook Cablevision of Syracuse, presents Syracuse University Lacrosse. Today, it's the Scarlet Knights of Rutgers, 6-3, meeting the Syracuse Orangemen, who are 6-2. And once again, we're inside the Carrier Dome where Syracuse has spent the entire month of April. And it's a good thing, too, because again outside, it is rainy and very cold and unseasonable. Hi again, everybody. Dave Cohen along with Dale Drypulcher. Now, you wouldn't think a school that hasn't beaten Syracuse since 1955 could possibly be overconfident. But if you consider Rutgers knows that Syracuse is no longer invincible, they know they have a strong senior goalie in John Schmunk, and they also know they did defeat Syracuse in the fall in an exhibition game, and maybe they think, well, this is just the year when our number comes up. Well, the first two things you mentioned uh, are really valid points for Rutgers, but that fall win is really kind of a time when coaches are experimenting both sides. So to say we beat them then, it's good for your confidence, don't get me wrong, but I don't think it's a real test of, of what Syracuse is now as to what they were back in the fall. One thing that every lacrosse game comes down to is face-offs and who dominates the face-offs, who gets to dictate the tempo of the game. Does Rutgers have the face-off people who can give Syracuse a battle? Well, they are worried about it. I talked to Coach Hayes, and he said that's going to be a key. And uh, they've got Mikey Russo, who's running 63% of his face-offs. That's a fine number. But Syracuse can counter with Bob Fazio, who's got 68%, and Gil Martin around 52 to 54%. So Syracuse has two excellent face-off men, but that's going to be a key. That X right out in the middle of the field when the game starts, I think it's going to start there. And whoever can dominate there, I think is going to win this game. Jerry DiLorenzo for Syracuse really emerged against Cornell and I think he won the crowd over up until that point he had been sort of uh, questionable I think in the minds of many is is he a bona fide star is he all we heard about and he really came out against Cornell I really think that's important we talked in the first game that he needed confidence he didn't get it against Hopkins I think he's gotten it as the season progressed and I think it really hit a peak last week or I should say last Wednesday so I think DiLorenzo is really hot he's got to have another game today and uh, it remains to be seen but I think the whole chemistry of the whole team is right where it should be and he's going to be facing a hot player for uh, Rutgers Steve Luciano senior from New Canaan, Connecticut. Six goals against Penn State in the last win for Rutgers and uh, moving up in the all-time assistant and point total uh, for a career at Rutgers. He's excellent and of course both teams uh, are going to have to defend the other team's offense so there's going to be some key matchups. I think it's going to be a good game. Rutgers ranked 10th. They do feel this is the year to do it. At least it has been the last four or five times so let's look for them to come out and be sky high. And many people feel this will be Syracuse's stiffest test until the NCAA tournament begins in May. We'll be right back with the start of today's game. Syracuse and Rutgers, two teams that have fallen this season to Johns Hopkins. Syracuse, since the Hopkins game, has won four straight, and Tom Hayes is Rutgers Scarlet Knights. Lost uh, to Princeton after falling to Johns Hopkins. Here is the starting attack for Rutgers. Chris Pratt out of Victoria, British Columbia. And John Monet, a transfer from Army, and Steve Luciano. On the midfield, Dave Cunningham from West Genesee, Nick DeLappi and Jamie Watson, Mike Uruso, one of the face-off people on defense, Mike Rogers, Scott Hilly, and freshman Reed Jackson, the senior goalie, John Schmunk. Schmunk is saving 62% of the shots directed his way. Roy Simmons with 200 career wins. His attack of Jamie Archer, Matt Ryder, and Tom Marichek. Archer, the leading scorer with 39, Marichek, Right behind at 38, Ricky Kramer, Charlie Lockwood, Tom Gilmartin, who will be out to take the opening face. McCabe, Holbrook, Winship, and Jerry DiLorenzo defending the goal to the left. And there he is, Levittown, Long Island. It'll be uh, Yoruso on the faceoff for Rutgers and Tom Gilmartin for Syracuse. The Orange going without the big stick on the faceoff wing. 
Lockwood and Kramer are on. Oftentimes uh, you'll see Hans Schmidt out there. And here is Rutgers winning the first face. Jamie Watson scooping it up. Watson getting the step on the fallen defense. Quick shot and it's wide. That was Yoruso who took the shot. Still in play and McCabe leading Syracuse in ground balls. Can't pick this one up. Chris Pratt. Pratt. Like Tom Marichek from Victoria, British Columbia. Rutgers into a settled offense for the first time. On the field, Nick DeLappi moving on Gil Martin. Dale, do you get the feeling early on this one will be a game? I think so. Uh, Rutgers certainly hustled on that. They're not in awe, which perhaps in the last couple of years. Oh, he got beat there. Beautiful spin move and the first goal of the game. Steve Luciano, the man we told you about, senior from New Canaan, Connecticut, one to nothing Rutgers. Okay, hold right here, guys. Look, see what he's done is he's beaten him right here. He beat McCabe, and now he's going to be just one-on-one -on -one with the goalie. And McCabe said, go ahead and roll it, guys. After this is over, he told DiLorenzo, my fault, my fault. I got beat. And we come back to the second face-off of the game. This one also won by Rutgers. LaRusso Russo with a terrific move as he kept that ball in his stick as he was rolling over. And now Rutgers will have possession. Ricky Kramer for a push. Going to be 30 seconds down, so Syracuse is going to go man down quite early here with only 55 seconds gone and one goal down. So Syracuse perhaps in a little bit of a momentum hole very early, but it is very early. And immediately they feed the ball in close, looking for the high percentage shot. Borges, 45, 23 for Rutgers there is Steve Locker. And Jerry DiLorenzo. They'll put a ride on against him. Now they're man up. up. They had their man up, and they're going to contest everything. Syracuse still has to clear it. A little give and go. Lockwood. McCabe on the bounce pass beyond Lockwood, and here's Rutgers in transition. Locker to DeLappi and a little rolling feed for Chris Pratt. He can't save it. Off of Rutgers. That's almost, penalty should almost be up. Let me check. One, two, three, four, five. So yeah, they're even now. No. Nope. Quite a bit of action during that 30 second. Winship up ahead to McCabe. Nice bounce feed. And this time Lockwood handles it. Yeah, they're even. He goes to the right hand. The hesitation move. And from behind, intended for Marichek, thrown away. Marichek tells him to settle down, not worry about it. The pass was in front of him. It should have been in back towards the end line, and it was poorly paid. Uh, Poorly placed pass, and now Rutgers is going to clear. And back on the Scarlet Knights on the move now with good legs. David Cunningham, guarded by David Pitain. Two Davids from West Genesee. And Cunningham feeding up top to Borges. Deflected. No shot. No shot. Offside. Good scoop on the rebound miss by Luciano against Syracuse. Yep. So they'll be man down again. In penalty problems early, Rutgers second man up opportunity did not capitalize on the first one. Near side, Luciano back behind to Pratt. Gorgeous. Trying to shoot before he had it. And Pat McKay moving very quickly with it. Gets Going a release. to the left hand. He feeds to Kramer. Lost the angle on the shot. Ricky did. And he lost the ball as well. Patane trying to save, but he can't. One good thing that happened, however, is they got the release as McKay sprinted in and evened it up. So they are back at normal strength. Matt Moore and Mike Doyle come on for the Orangemen. Patane will stay on. Syracuse now about to apply a ride. They redirect it to Schmunk, the goalie. Archer coming in on him. Oh, Schmunk was lucky. Good job there, though. Now he's beaten two men as he feeds up fielder Jamie Watson right down the slot. And DiLorenzo got a piece of that. I think Winship also got a stick up on it. Made it 
change its direction. Pressure being put on by Rutgers early. Rutgers dominating the action here in the opening three minutes of the game. They lead it one to nothing. Cunningham looking to get the step, coming back the other way for the screen shot. And Rutgers jumps out to a two to nothing lead. Beautiful screen in front, Dale. I think a man jumped up to allow that shot to go through. Well, they're looking for the screen, but watch what happens. Watch how he takes him. He's going to take him right here, and now all of a sudden he's going to drive back. Just a second. Watch him plant his foot. Watch him plant right now. See him plant? Now he's going to change the direction. He's going to come back this way and get in this area, and that leaves him open for the shot. And he went stick side and beat DiLorenzo for goal number two. And a 2-0 lead now for Rutgers. Here comes Doyle on the move. Good check by Hans Schmidt. Hans is a freshman from Ithaca. Helped out by Winship. Here's Hans with a little shove. Failure to advance. So Syracuse will clear. Only twice this season has Syracuse oh. failed to score in a given quarter. That was a bad clear intended for McCabe with Winship. Actually, yeah, Winship was there, but you know, they were waiting for that. They were they were right over there, and it was a poor pass anyway, but they had certainly were waiting for that. DuBern Reed, 15 is on. Luciano to Pratt. Holbrook, 43, defending behind. There's a sweep. Tom Badger with a move on DeBurn Reed. Ward, got to be. He used his free hand to push off, and Badger leaves the game. Tom Badger detected warding. Now we got a procedure call against Syracuse. Illegal substitution, so it's going to go the other way. There's a, a mistake. They had an opportunity, and now they're going to lose it. Bench official, Jake Curran. Makes the call, so now it goes Rutgers. Borges with it. Borges to the left hand. On the give back to Badger. And from behind, here comes Pratt. Does he have those uh, British Columbian moves? Looks like he does, doesn't he? Got yeah. that stick waggling. Well, we're four and a half minutes into the game, and Syracuse does not yet have a shot. They've hardly had the ball. Borges on Doyle. Shot and DiLorenzo saved it. Came out in precarious position. Crease violation gives it to Syracuse. Working today's game, the referee Bruce Teague, Terry Cullen, the umpire, Joe Marr is the field judge. Syracuse just getting some people on. Do a nice job of riding Syracuse. Long passes take time. Now they're strapped for time. What about that 10 second call? Well, they, they just make got it? it up. Yeah, but they're going to lose the ball and get it back to Marichek. Feeding downfield for Archer. Archer feeding back behind. Intended for Gil Martin. It's still Syracuse ball. Mike Rogers, 44. Nice job defensively. He got the stick up and knocked that pass that was headed for the center down. Here's Marichek. When in doubt, give it to Tom and Schmunk. Defending on that shot by Marichek. Quickly the ball back in play with Matt Ryder. They're using a man defense. They will use a zone on occasion. Syracuse misplaying again. There's Gil Martin going for the right-handed pass. And the goal put in by Matt Ryder. So Matt Ryder gets his uh, first goal of the game, and Syracuse now trails by a two-to-one count. Go ahead. We see Gil Martin's going to go behind. Watch. He doesn't have an angle. Like people said, take the shot, take the shot. He fakes and says, uh-oh, now I don't have the shot. So he goes behind and stop right there, guys. Watch. Now he's got to look over here for somebody to make a move, and this is what happens. He gets a move out on top. You see him come in just at the end. He went a little bit beyond the angle that he wanted to take and made a nice pass. Syracuse goal and lose, however, another faceoff. 
This one on a violation. Schmunk had his back turned on that goal. Syracuse does not have one faceoff, while Rutgers has four. Off the pick, Cunningham on the move. And they put it in the stick of the clever Chris Pratt. Moving on, Eric Holbrook. He lets him talk and lets him cut through so they don't pick off there as there's a lot of talk between he and McCabe. Oh, McCabe nearly tripped against Luciano. Back to Pratt. And Luciano. Crowd likes the defense. We're six minutes into the game, and it's a two to one Rutgers score. Now, Jamie Watson given some operating room by David Patain. Maybe too much room. Somebody got a stick on that before it got to Di Lorenzo. They're trying to screen Di Lorenzo, no doubt about it. Early they are trying to screen him. Setting people up down tight on the crease. Look at it right there. You can see. Nice spin back move, and Di Lorenzo had the angle for that one against Nick DeLappi. Now the outlet to Patain. He wanted to give it up. He needs still somebody, does. Needs a little help behind. He gets it. Nice job by Di Lorenzo there. Nice save, but even better was the outlet pass. Freddie Amaya, number eight. Narcek wearing that uh, protective knee bandage. He got hurt late in the Cornell game. Went down for a couple of minutes. Came back in wearing that bandage. Kramer feeds Lockwood. He's got the shot. What well, didn't even get to the goalie. Yeah. And the transition by Rutgers. Cunningham in a foot race. He eludes most of that first check and then gets dumped by oh, the second. Playing on the line. McCabe. Good, good look at the line there. That was Luciano. And he's arguing his case. Let's see it. Watch Cunningham. That's first uh, yeah, watch Eric the ball. It's not the, it's not, it's the yellow line, folks. It's the yellow line. And he continued on and... I believe his stick or his foot, not his stick, it would have been all right with his stick, but his foot was. Andy Bolin on the give and go with McCabe, wearing those John Zilberti orange high tops. Syracuse Dale has uh, gone to many more bounce passes today. Maybe coincidental, maybe by design. Freddie Amaya, the feeder. Up to Ryder, and a hard left handed shot is saved. And here comes Rutgers. Ryder lost his stick. Mike Rogers rushing it up. Big stick defenseman going to get rid of it and head on back as they settle it down. Rogers going to give it up finally. Steve Locker. And now Pratt. Syracuse getting Patane in, the big sticks in. A rapidly played first quarter. It's 2-1 to one Rutgers. Chris Pratt and Holbrook. Badger is the cutter. Borges, 45, with the ball. Locker. You can see the screen there. See the guys they got down there in front of him trying to screen Di Lorenzo, playing good defense, hang his stick. Locker feeds to the open Luciano. That was at point blank range. Luciano gets his second goal of the game. Holbrook, 43, not able to slide over in time. They took the ball behind. And when the ball goes behind, there he hung his stick, and I thought, watch the stick. Thought he might have gotten hit, but he doesn't. He gets it up, and then Luciano has got a clear alley. You can see, obviously, right there, nobody could get stick on stick, and he took a nice bounce shot. Fazy out on the faceoff, and this one is won by Syracuse. Oh, that's going to be off of Rutgers if it goes out of bounds, but it doesn't. Rutgers out hustling Syracuse. That's they really sure. are determined in this one. And back come the Scarlet Knights again, leading three to one, four to one. Steve Locker carried it in all the way, and he beats Di Lorenzo. Will Syracuse take a timeout? That's just a one-on-one, -on -one, uh, absolutely time for a timeout. It is four to one, and Syracuse needs a timeout. And Locker is just one-on-one, -on -one, and that's. Gil Martin, and then you're going to see it from the view here. Now, Di Lorenzo's got to be marking him. Now, watch. He's got the shot, but Di Lorenzo knows he should have had that one. Bounce shot up over his shoulder, 
And now they got to get to DiLorenzo and tell him to calm down. And yeah, you're going to miss one of those once in a while. Certainly something you got to forget about. But locker shot, savable. Well, you knew Rutgers had confidence coming in. And as I said at the outset, it's a question of would they be overconfident, feeling that all the parts were uh, in place for a victory this year. And they are certainly playing not only with confidence, but with great enthusiasm. Well, you know, we mentioned the faceoffs. Syracuse has won one, but lost it after they got it. Rutgers has four, so they really have been able to control the tempo and put a lot of pressure on Syracuse. Now, Syracuse's strength as a defense has been a couple of unsettled situations, people not in the right positions, and they've been able to uh, get some goals. There's been two man up for Rutgers. They have not cashed in on it. So it's just been the good play and the unsettled situation of that man's team that has put them up four to one. Syracuse coming off two uh, emotional victories over Hobart and Cornell. The games are not all that close, but anytime you face those uh, upstate rivals, you hear about it all week. And now they're playing their third game in eight days. And DiLorenzo needs to get hot. I had Gil Martin out. Now they got Fazy back out again. And they bring Schmidt in on the wing, number 36. But Rutgers wins this face. Rutgers just moving quicker than Syracuse, man for man. There's a nice pass to Borges. Hold. He gets necktied and he scores anyway. Oh, it's on the outside. No, it's on the outside. You're right. That was new faceoff man, by the way, Gibney. But that hold, that hold, you're going to see it right here. Watch this hold. Right here. Stop, guys. Right. You see that? That's a hold. But you know what? That was a good hold because if he hadn't have done it, he would have given him a clear shot at the goal. And as it was, it went outside. But you can see the hold right there. The shot does end up outside. So, man up again. Roy Simmons on the field with John Desco arguing with Joe Mars. So, Syracuse man down. Now there's a conversation Six with the bench official what involving we Joe Mars. And they're going to bring over the referee now to determine what is going on. Well, they just said there's a technical foul. There's no goal. No. All right, we knew that. <laughs> that was on the outside. The hold will stay, but there'll be man up opportunity number three for Rutgers. Right now, they're zero for two. Rutgers dominating in all phases of the game. Luciano and Pratt. It's been a pretty deadly combination so far. Locker is 23, and they go back to Luciano and Pratt. Six good, on five. Good ball movement. Here's yeah. Luciano. They're only taking those high percentage shots. Into a crowd, pulled down by Cunningham. Luciano. Monet has it now, number 14. Now they're even. Borges. Now here's where it gets tricky. Everybody's got to pick up a man. Luciano. Borges again. Kramer is playing him. Now Luciano even with a crease. And Borges. Locker and Pratt. So they're all touching the ball in this offense. Rutgers leading it four to one. We're down to uh, 440 to go in the first quarter. Really spreading it out. They're back in the box. Mike Doyle now the pressure on Monet and a goal by Rutgers. Very, very, very disciplined. Well, they took that right to the limit. They were just warned there to keep it in. And just as they put up the warning, you're going to see the goal go in. So Locker comes up with the second goal. And you see, they got to keep it in now. They've been told to keep it in, or we're just getting told to keep it in as watch the pass. See him beat his man right there? And now he comes. They can't get stick on stick. And 
number 43 for Syracuse gets beat. Holbrook. And Rutgers about to win yet another faceoff. So the faceoffs, as we said, mirroring the score out in front. Syracuse a little reckless there defensively. Well, they haven't played well, and they're going to get beaten to this loose ball. Off the white, Terry, you can hear him telling far officials. So Syracuse will go down, play their big stick people. They got more coming in, and also the Burn Reed, 15 in. Syracuse down 5-1 to one in the first quarter. I didn't even think against Hopkins they were down by this much early on. Unable to come up with loose balls. Good point. Burn Reed unable to get it. And finally, Matt Moore, and he loses it and gets it back. Good turf bounce by Matt Moore. The return for DeBurn Reed, who has not even attempted a shot this season. DeLappi upfield and pulled down by Cunningham. Look how quick they move the ball in the scoring position. Marichek lost his stick. Can't play without the stick. Back comes Jamie Watson on Patane. Luciano now giving it up outside. Rutgers dominating, as we said, in shooting in all phases of the game. Reed. Marichek. If they don't have it, they should probably settle it down now. Make sure they get a good opportunity and take advantage of it and not throw the ball away, get the people in they want, and they'll let Marichek take a little time outside there as they get people in and out. But they didn't want, want to force that. they got to be patient. Now you're going to probably see Rutgers perhaps go to a zone defense. Now Syracuse forced to play very patiently, Dale. And that That's is deflected. Jamie Archer has not really been involved yet. Well, they, they really haven't had the ball down there that much. They just tried to... A zone buster pass there had to go up right and over, there. and a Rutgers stick was on it. So Syracuse gets possession, but Rutgers going to take a timeout, make sure that they put the clamps on. I'm sure Coach Hayes says, let's not let them up. This is a defensive timeout being taken here late in the first quarter with 2.21 to go, and Syracuse down 5 to 1. If there's one stat, as we look at this quickly, it's a lot of time left in the game, obviously, but shots 10 to 4, as you saw the graphic a, a moment or so ago, we're usually used to Syracuse. Dave, they might not be up a, ahead by many, but they're usually you're out shooting people, and they, it's a, a telling statistic in terms of how much Rutgers has had the ball in the Syracuse area and just doubling two and a half times as many shots. So we'll find out uh, about the medal of Syracuse, see what they're made of in this game. As they're down here five to one early. Not a lot of goals, really. I mean, yes it is in terms of it's five to one, but there's a lot of time left. And, uh, but obviously they've got to turn it around here and. Well, right off the opening faceoff, I sensed there was uh, something different about this game and this opposition today in Rutgers and it has really proven to be accurate. When they used to come up, you know, when in the old days, three or four or five years ago, it was almost kind of resigned. Let's just do the best job we can. But I really think that they are confident that they can win this game. And beating Syracuse in the fall obviously gave them a big boost. You can see their athleticism. Well, they have been passing the ball extremely well. They move everything quickly. And now they're playing a zone defense and make Syracuse get a little impatient. And Syracuse has not passed the ball well. Marichek, all sorts of bodies on him. Amaya. Back to Marichek, score! No, yes or no? Is it in or not? No. It is not in, side of the cage. Goalie ball. It, it would have been a, almost, in, not an impossible shot, but it would have been very, very tough. There's Amaya, back to Marichek, and you see the angle, he didn't have much, and you see it did go on the other side of the post, and so uh, the fans excited, but Syracuse not able to cash in. And here comes Cunningham, upfield for Rutgers. That's good passing. De Borges got a man on the right wing. DeBurn Reed knocked it free. But you got to give Rutgers all sorts of credit for their hustle. Now Archer to Marichek. Every pass is really an adventure for Syracuse. 
Rutgers contesting everything. That is for sure. They are really going at him and back into probably some sort of a zone. And you hear him sticks up. They want to cut down the, the passing angles and the, and the alleys for shooting and hope that they can knock down every pass that tries to go in and feed inside. See, right there. Yeah. You know, Dale, I think they're playing man-to-man -man outside in a zone in close. There's some, as I said, there are definitely some combinations of zones, some different things they're doing. And you can see they're causing Syracuse all sorts of passing and catching problems. Well, the thing is to give them a different look just about every time. Now watch, the three uh, red shirts that are close to, close to fence playing in a zone and up top they're chasing people. Midfielders, yeah, running a chase and hope, uh, they let him in there, but uh, nice stop. Shot is saved. It's almost like a matchup zone. It's what Villanova does to Syracuse in basketball. First save for Rutgers. Here's oh, Luciano. Tough. Oh, he scores again. Getting the ball virtually one-on-one -on -one and in close. Luciano has his third goal of the first quarter, and it is six to one Rutgers. This is not Amaya's fault. They're just peppering him. That's a tough, tough shot. Now watch, they try to get out, but they can't get on his stick, and that's just a high shot. But I noticed Di Lorenzo seems to be maybe going down a little bit, and uh, they're going high on him, and uh, they're guessing right. Luciano puts him up by five with 29 seconds left in the Faceoff drought ends temporarily for Syracuse. Here's Don Finn, who was a hero last game. He got it knocked out of his stick. Ryder has the same thing happen to him. Ryder keeps it alive. Archer now. He feeds the slot. Score! Yeah. Tom Bill Martin, and a flag is down. And that should be a big time one, too. That should be a slash. So Syracuse would be man up. Now there's something they got to take advantage of. Let's see if we can take a look at what happens here. The ball was really contested back there, and that's Hilly gets beat there for a second, and Archer's looking for somebody to feed to, and they all turn to shift, but that was a long shot by Gil Martin, and you see the flag down. So it'll be a Syracuse opportunity if they can get the face off. Syracuse got their second just to short time ago so they got a man up opportunity they were not very successful Wednesday man up I believe they ended up zero for six the key here is you got to get the ball the closest Syracuse has been was at two to one then Rutgers ran off four unanswered goals and Syracuse has just come back here's Rutgers advancing it upfield but time has run out in the first quarter so that is the end of the first quarter the most impressive Rutgers has had in their eight trips into the Dome, and they lead it by a score of six to two. Super Sports coverage continues right after this. The second quarter is about to begin here in the Carrier Dome. Dave Cohen along with Dale Drypolcher, and what a surprise. Rutgers on top of Syracuse, six to two. Rutgers hustling from the first face off and taking advantage of every situation and really dominating action offensively. Syracuse, however, came back just as the quarter ended, came up with a goal, no possession. So I believe there will be a face off here to start. Here are the stats. When's the last time somebody outshot Syracuse in one quarter? Yeah, the, the uh, Shots 11 to 8, and at one point uh, was much greater uh, discrepancies than that. Faceoffs a real key, 7 to 2. Ground balls fairly even, clears penalties. SU has had three penalties, but Rutgers has not been able to come up with the ball. So it will be, however, there was a nice gesture by the Syracuse fans. They stood up and cheered their uh, hometown team here to say, "Hey, we're behind you." Just well, get it going. Syracuse is man up, but they don't have the ball. They'd like to get it out so Rutgers can't clear. And they do have the ball now. DeBurn Reed. Oh, he went back in. Failure to advance. You can't go back in the box. A costly error. In all fairness to the players, it's hard to tell where the box begins. With all the football lines, a 30-yard line has a yellow strip alongside the white. 
I'll tell you one thing, Rutgers has been protecting their sticks well. Look at that, see there, when you go over the head, that gives a real advantage if you can accelerate by the man, but uh, Rutgers playing very well. I wonder, Dale, when the NCAA championships are held here, whether they will really paint that box more substantially so it stands out. You can't see that 30-yard line as opposed to the 25 and the 35. Doesn't stand out. DuBern Reed with a couple of pushes on Luciano, but he comes up with his fourth goal. Steve Luciano has now had 10 goals in his last game and a quarter. It right, reminds me a, a little bit of the Hopkins in the fourth quarter when Syracuse has been playing very well, but what happened was a midfield defense not able to get sticks on people, and they were giving long shots. Now that one is uh, really right in DiLorenzo's face. Now, one thing is, DiLorenzo, to get his, he's got to make a big stop. He's got to make a save he shouldn't to get his confidence back because he's going to be a little rattled, I assume, and uh, I think the book on him is to get on him early. Syracuse wins the face. Although Fazy had some doubts about it until it rolled into the stick of Ricky Kramer. Tom Gilmartin coming on now. Rutgers leads 7-2. There is a lot of time to go in a lacrosse game. Marichek with Gilmartin. There's that packed in close defense. Zone up on the top and then... So you got to keep passing it, and Lockwood, that's the way to stop it. Lockwood drills his laser in, and Syracuse now within four at seven to three. One of the things they're doing is, when these guys are in, hold it right there, guys, when you get these guys in like this tight, okay, and you're going to see them over here, it kind of forces you to take a shot from the outside. If you can make it, you should loosen them up. Let's see what Lockwood does. He gets the ball way out there and is able to get an alley right through there. Perfect. And that makes them have to respect you and come out a little bit and play a little tougher and uh, loosens up the defense. But they got to get a face off. And, and they don't. The, the teams have now exchanged the last four goals. But here comes Rutgers coming right back. Locker scores. That's the second time in the game Locker has gone virtually coast to coast to come up with a goal unassisted. And it's 8 to 3 now. The teams have exchanged the last That's five goals. One save for Di Lorenzo, and you're going to see what happens here. They ball down. Locker is going to get it and streak down the wing, the right side. And now Lockwood's chasing him, not able to get up on the stick. See, he's got to be able to get his stick out. He gets him right there, but then he takes the shot, and he goes stick side. And Lee Hine on the sideline getting a little action. See Syracuse's backup goalie. The arms and Fazy win this. That was Gibney out there for Rutgers. Now Ricky Kramer. Moving on, Nick DeLappi. Tommy Gilmartin outside, 44. Kramer trying to draw the double team. And up high to Lockwood again. He fakes. He passes it back. Marichek in a crowd. Save. Hold. Good job by Lockwood to fake the shot and get it into Marichek. The idea is, too, I think, to get the ball to Lockwood and you get him out there, and you see he scored from out there before, so when they go on out to play him, that leaves somebody else a little bit open, and uh, he's going to look to dish off, and he got it inside, but there was a hold, so Syracuse will get a man-up opportunity. Matt Hayden, Mike Byer, come on. The man down defense now for Rutgers. Syracuse's second man up, Dave. There's Marichek. Oh, oh what a shot in your face. And Tom Marichek with his first goal of the afternoon makes it an 8-4 game. You know, the thing about this is when you try to play him stick side, and we'll, maybe we'll get a look at it here as they, they only take it around once and then they bypass and get it right out to Marichek. Now watch right here, guys. Stop. Now here's, here's Marichek. You got him. Here's his right hand, and here's the stick here. He hopes to be able to play him stick on stick, and then you'll see what happens. He takes a step and says, see you later. Goes behind the other way. Jamie Archer has assisted on the last three Syracuse goals. Eight to four is the score. Uh, now they, they've also now committed a penalty. So now they're going to be down a man. 
they being Syracuse. Eight to four. And once again, that faceoff count, very much like the game score. Bob Fazy going to the bench after the faceoff duties. Actually, Syracuse has been doing better man down than they have when they've been even up. Fazy in the box. He was the guilty man. Cunningham 24, Borges 45. Di Lorenzo got a piece of that second save. Rutgers has taken 14 shots. Eight to four game. We have 12 minutes, 12 seconds to play in the first half. Off the stick of Luciano, nobody is going to pressure him as he goes back to play it. In the stick now of Joe Borges They're and even. Luciano with four goals. Pratt scores. Chris Pratt, the British Columbian, makes it a 9-4 score. And Rutgers keeps answering Syracuse back. He's going to take it. He's going to go high on DiLorenzo. They were even, just even. And people looking around for people to take it. There's a sneak from behind, and nobody had him. And there was nothing that DiLorenzo could do about that. There was no slide there. Once again, that happens quite a bit, Dave, in the transition from being down a man to being even. And they let the man slip from behind. Chris Pratt's sneak. first uh, goal of the game. He is 12 on the year. Gil Martin really motoring. Back up on the play. Keeps it in Syracuse's possession. Now Marichek, 9 to 4 Rutgers. Marichek to Archer. Jamie sorts out his options. Sends it up top to John Barr with a couple of fakes and a save made by Schmunk. Third of the game. Nice outlet pass. There's Barr on top of Jamie Watson. He got by Barr. Kind of a clear out here, almost a isolation. Now they go back up on top. Last seven goals have been exchanged between these two teams. Delapi on the give. Here's Monet, the cutter. That's on the side of the cage. Di Lorenzo upfield, a little bit too far for Gil Martin, but it's played by Syracuse. Gil Martin gets it back. There comes Tom Gil Martin on Reed Jackson. And a Save. shot denied and saved. Back the other way. Watson. Watson head manning. High Cunningham. again. And Cunningham beats De Lorenzo to make it a 10 to 4 Rutgers lead. Dave Cunningham from West Genesee has scored. And Rutgers has a six goal lead. Let's take a look at Cunningham as he comes down. And Watson's going to give it to him. There's Watson on the pass. And Cunningham doesn't break stride, doesn't cock or anything. He just fires left-handed. And once again, it seems to me that DiLorenzo's going down and the ball is going high. But that may be his style. I don't know. But they, they caught him there. And there's going to be a procedure here against Syracuse. Fazy, the guilty man on the face. Here comes DeLappi. Winship screened out with his body, but Luciano got in there. However, it is going to be Syracuse ball. Yeah, you look at the, the Rutgers sideline, Coach Hayes very composed. His assistants just a notch below crazy here as uh, <laughs> they are really trying to hustle people in and out. Look at these guys. Get them in. Get them out. Here's the matchup we want. And uh, Coach Hayes just kind of mellowed out there in front of his troops. Bob DeMarco, Mark Zeminski, Eric Nussbaum, and Rock Gillickson. Gullickson. Zoning them off here, too, so they've got a, they've out, out of the box. Anyway, they've got... McCabe has the ball, 29. Into the middle of the field now to Ricky Kramer. He goes by Borges. Boland's open on the left. Kramer's coming in. Kramer ridden off the play. Under 10 to go and a 10 to 4 Rutgers lead. Andy Bolin into a crowd. Syracuse keeps it. They're getting some shots off. Syracuse shot 15. Now you got to feel that they're uh, 
eventually going to get to Schmunk. That was Marichek. They're getting the ball off and getting it back again. That's one improvement. Quickly they feed the crease. That shot is wide. Syracuse keeps it. They've probably yeah. taken four or five shots in this last flurry. Not all of them have been good shots. The last one, not a real good angle, but uh, they're keeping the pressure on Rutgers and keeping the ball out of their end. Syracuse's longest offensive thrust of the game. Charlie Lockwood. That was sort of a wrist shot by Charlie and a nice save by Schmunk. The outlet's going to be stolen by Syracuse. Holbrook giving it up nicely and getting back on side. Ricky Kramer. He hit the oh, crossbar. That couldn't have been much closer. I thought I saw the net ripple. That'll be uh, Syracuse ball. Merchek tracks it down. Bola to his left. Lockwood to his right. He goes behind an archer. Now Ryder. Syracuse playing better offensively. Marichek. Ten to four, Rutgers lead. Eight and a half minutes to go in the half. You got to be patient. There's a lot of time. Bounce pass. Bolin can't handle it. Andy Bolin still can't get it. Back to get it is Marichek. They feed it in low. Maybe one extra pass in there, and it costs Syracuse. Now they got to ride. They got to play all facets of the game. They got to keep their heads up. A lot of these guys from Syracuse have not had a lot of experience, and this is where it's going to be tested. Cunningham, he's a junior. Moving by Patain. Cunningham. Former high school teammate. Cunningham able to fire the last time without even stopping and cocking his arm. Doing a good job as Rutgers changes players. Hilly comes in on defense. Also coming on now, 21, Michael LaFay. There he is. Luciano's had four goals already. You got Winship yeah. on him. Cunningham against Matt Moore. Nice move. Cunningham able to. Oh, close to a ward. Yep, very close. Pratt now with Holbrook. Now they got to keep it in. I see the officials saying they know Rutgers is playing it. They're going to play it slow now. They, they got a six goal lead. They're going to take as much time. And the last time they did this, Dale, they culminated it with a nice goal to a cutter. Pratt, oh, Pratt, he, Pratt, fan on the shot of the last minute. Was he held? No, no. Nope. You know what's amazing about that is how strong he was because he went over the head check was it by Wind or uh, Holbrook and had the stick and he powered right through it and was able to get right in front of the crease before he, he stepped in there. How did Roy let him get away? British Canadian player. That's right. Columbia player. They're zoning him right up there to the midfield line, let him get it up. Syracuse got four guys back and now they're just going to collapse on the man with the ball and he just runs right by him. At no time in the game has Syracuse had back to back goals. Finn the Ryder. That shot was wide. That was, a, that was a tough angle to take. Syracuse has not had a lot of shots from the, the prime scoring areas. Let's see what the call is on the bench official. I guess they had a timeout. As they get some, Rutgers get some, some people in. Reed Jackson, 40 in. Along with Locker. So they got the matchup they want. Marichek, Archer, and Ryder. The attack. The feed to Gil Martin. And he makes the strings dance. Tom Gil Martin gets his second goal of the game. String music by Tom Gil Martin. And it's 10 to 5. Well, they need some music to face off by next. But uh, Gil Martin will take that one. That's just a power goal. And he's in a good position. Watch where he gets the ball. That's right there. Just a perfect scoring area, and he's got that whole stick side as he had Schmunk sunk over to his left. 
But they got to get a face off. And they may not get this one. That's a hold, so that will be a face off for Syracuse by virtue of a penalty. Gil Martin on now with Don Finn and John Barr. Lots of time left. Syracuse would like to put another one in and get Schmunk and his defense thinking a little bit. They have not had consecutive goals in the game yet. And they still don't. Off somebody's leg. Nice diving attempt. Oh, he did it with his hand. That was Holbrook. He did it with his hand. Nice try, though. He slid down, tried to do it with his stick, and his left hand got there. A timeout, Rutgers. Again, Rutgers taking a timeout with six minutes to go in the first six half. Exactly Second half. timeout being used by Rutgers, and they lead it by a score of 10 to 5. Another good strategic timeout by Hayes trying to prevent Syracuse from getting offensive momentum. Watch him dive. He's going to dive right here. See? See him dive right there? Now watch what he's going to try to do. He's going to try to get a stick. Stop right there. He tried to get a stick on it and knock it back uh, across. But what happened is watch his left hand come around in a minute, and you'll see what happens. He's going to touch it with his hand, and that's what they called. You can't touch the ball with your hand. But a, a heck of an effort. That was Eric Holbrook. John Desco does most of the talking in these huddles. Syracuse's assistant coach. They know they can play better defense. They know they can play better offense. It's just a question of let's get it together and uh, settle down. I think that they just got uh, blitzkrieg early, Dave. I think Rutgers really came out and was fired up, and SU was now come back offensively. They've taken 14 shots so far this quarter. For a while there, they weren't getting any off. That next game will close out the month of April in the Dome. Syracuse has not had a road trip this month. And Tom Hayes has never had a win here in the Dome or against Syracuse anywhere. Very nice man speaking to him before the game. He said, geez, I hope we can do something. He said, we haven't been too successful up here, but. Once again, the crowd trying to pump up the orange. Roy Simmons well, they get, looking, they get. looking for his fifth title and fourth in a row. They got to clamp the defense right here. They got to put the clamp on this offense of Rutgers. Patain and Cunningham. A lot of people cutting from the picking and rolling here from the crease. You see them right there. Watch them all. They're going to line up and then somebody's going to pick off and then try to roll and then pick off the other right here. There they are going back out. Pick and re-pick. It's the first time That's they've been Pratt. able to do that. Brad, very dangerous. Syracuse takes it away. But you got to do that defensively. You can't, uh, you can't be passive and just play defense. You got to create something, and they have right here. David Patain in the midfield. Kramer open on the near side. He has it now. Ricky will wait. Yeah, he's going to wait for Patain to get off. I thought they might double the ball. Rutgers just kind of sitting there, and then Laser Lockwood comes in, and now Gil Martin in. Syracuse with the uh, high-powered offensive folks on the field right now. Oh. Bad pass by Kramer and run down by Gil Martin. They don't have their defensive people in there. Or Rutgers doesn't. Gil Martin with two goals up top. Lockwood. That was a Ooh. blur. That was a blur. It bent some aluminum back there somewhere. Here we go again. Kramer with Lockwood open, sending it his way. They're really sliding, getting some bodies in front of these passing lanes. Jamie Archer finding Lockwood. Packed in Rutgers defense. Kramer attempting the dodge. Threw it away, and Ryder off of a Rutgers stick. So let it roll out. Now they're going to get their defensive folks in. Locker and Borges comes Borges, on along yeah. with uh, Matt Hayden. Four minutes, 15 seconds to go in the first half. Tom Marichia. The idea, of course, is to force them out. And the further out you are, obviously, the less chance you really have of getting a good shot at the goal. There's the cutter, and it went through Gil Martin and Kramer. Not in a position they wanted to be in. They had two guys there, and neither one of them could stop the ball. So Syracuse is going to lose possession. Once again, put the defensive clamps on. 
just thinking about one thing we haven't seen much of this year. Remember all those goals when a, a guy used to be camped out right on the crease? Oh, yeah. Hardly ever see that anymore. There's Borges. Uh -oh. They rush it into a good position for Monet, and he just missed a shot. Whew. Syracuse is lucky. He was open there. That's going to be Syracuse ball. One shot and out is uh, that Holbrook hustled over there. Nice job by Eric after the shot, but they really had that, that open. It was a poor shot. Monet nope. missed it. Now with three and a half to go. You got to get it out of there. Syracuse scored, what, 88 goals the last four games? Yeah. That, right now they've got five, and they've had to work hard for each of those. They're up to 23 shots. A bloop feed to Gil Martin. Nice Hi. save. John Barr with a rebound swipe. So now they've, they've outshot Rutgers, but they haven't outscored them. Oh, Marichek. Oh, he just missed. He went for the uh, offside uh, of Schmunk. So they're putting some pressure on. Here come the shots in bunches. Gil Martin brought down, no flag. Legal check and Borges now. Racing back is Barr. He's trying to defend two men. Locker gets it. Locker slows it down. On comes Badger. Luciano gives it up quickly. Nice check by Barr. Pat McCabe. Back to Di Lorenzo, eyes behind his head. Two and a half minutes to go in the first half. Ten to five, Rutgers lead. Archer, high to Barr. Barr in the crowd. Yes. Marichek. Take it out on top, way out on top, and when they shift, come back and look for somebody open. And they've been taking it from that left side. Actually, the goalie's front right. Watch as that archer behind takes it way out up on top. Now they all shift to the top. He looks over as Badger shifts, and they all, what, three guys collapse, and then Marichek gets that. See that lane open? See that lane open, that shooting lane right there? He goes offside for goal number six. It wasn't open until he got to that lane, and then he knew exactly what he had to shoot for. Fazy wins the phase. That's that's the formula you need. First time in the game, Syracuse has scored consecutive goals. The score is 10-6. You can feel a little bit of the momentum shifting now. A third straight goal will do a lot in that regard. Archer. That's the time remaining in the second quarter. Lockwood in close. Oh, Kramer denied in close. In the crease. And he was in the crease. Those are the opportunities Syracuse uh, seemingly always used to cash in on a year ago. Shot up, shot output, I should say, up to 26 on that shot. 10 to 6. Minute 45 left. Marichek providing That's pressure. That's the defense. Take away by Patane. Patane feeds it in close. Archer scores. That's the way to play defense. They're a little passive before. Now they're playing aggressive defense. David Patane with a takeaway, and then the feed to Jamie Archer. Three in a row by Syracuse. Yeah, Patane gets it left, hands it up with that big stick, and then Archer's got to come under control. Nice job, and he beats him offside again, and Schmunk giving up that angle to the right, and uh, the right of the shooter in there taking it. And it is 10 to 7 now. It's also in faceoffs 10 to 7, Dave. The crowd is into it. Nice job. Fazy wins it. Fazy able to put it out behind him. His wingman gave him some help. Fazy goes out. Gil Martin in. Nice job by Fazy. Ricky Kramer, Syracuse knows they don't have to get it all back at once. They don't have to get it by intermission. Yeah, there's a lot down of, by three. There's a lot of time left, obviously, but they want to get that momentum and grab a hold of it and hold on to it. Up top to Gil Martin. Gil Martin spinning free for a shot. Nice save by Schmunk. And the outlet now to Cunningham. An angle on him <laughs> by Kramer. He went over the top, knocked it free, draws the flag. Terry Cullen, not a popular guy right now. Oh, they're going to give him a big one. Oh, they're giving a big-time penalty on that. That's going to be a slash. 
With 58 seconds to go, it's a one-minute penalty. So he comes up over the head. Let's see what Kramer does on Cunningham. Well, that's what they called. So that'll be a one-minute. Syracuse has got a man down again. It's fifth opportunity for Rutgers. McCabe fake running at the Rutgers player, causing that breakup. He turned. No, he. No, I guess not. I thought that he was turned. Mike Doyle. And Syracuse will be down two men. I thought he turned. It. Not so. So we'll say that'll be. Doyle's going to be sitting for 30. Now, now this is tough. 30 second call. Pushing. 30 seconds. Now Syracuse down two men if they can somehow. Deny Rutgers now, they would pick up added momentum. Now, De Lorenzo's got to come up tough on this because he's not going to get much help. There and you go. Keep it out of there. DeBurn Reed can't play it. He stepped off sides. <laughs> Rutgers ball with a two man advantage. John Desco not pleased with that. I think he thought it was a push. De Lorenzo's got to be thinking, I got to come up big here. I got to do it now. One second to go. He does. And he hit the cage and he knocked it out, but that was it. Syracuse released to burn Reed, sent him across. We have five seconds to go in the half. Syracuse trying to kill off a two-man advantage. This is tough. And go into the locker room down by only three. Rutgers may elect to keep possession. Yeah, so they don't have to face off. But they don't have it. It's on the ground. No and possession. The first half comes to a close on that upbeat note for Syracuse. Although Rutgers takes a 10 to 7 lead into the locker room at halftime and from the way Syracuse leaves you get the idea that they finally know what they have to do to get control of this game. But we'll see as we'll be back with the Coors Light halftime highlights in just a moment. Halftime score Rutgers leading Syracuse 10 to 7. Dave Cohen along with Dale Drypulcher, and we sensed it right off the opening faceoff that this would be a game, and it has been a game, that Rutgers dominated for about the first quarter and three quarters of the second. That's right. They, uh, they were getting good shooting, shooting angles, they were taking good shots, and they were hustling all over the field and playing great defense. A little mix up of man and zone, so Syracuse a little confused, I think, early. They made it tough for Syracuse to pass the ball and catch the ball, and offensively, Rutgers did whatever they had to do. Very, very disciplined, and Luciano, Steve Luciano coming up with four goals in the first half as Rutgers jumped out to a big lead. Let's check the Coors Light halftime highlights. Rutgers opened up a 6-1 to one lead, and Luciano had three of those goals. Watch Luciano. You're going to see the area he has to shoot. This was somewhat typical of what happened to Syracuse. He's going to get the ball and watch what he's going to do. See, there's nobody there and he's not able to, uh, nobody's able to get a stick on his stick and down goes De Lorenzo and up go the Nets. It wasn't until late in the first half Syracuse managed back-to-back -back goals and then in the final minute, David Patain coming over the top of his former high school teammate, David Cunningham. Big stick defender, super job, and he looks up and says, let's get the ball down offensively, looking for Archer. Archer takes it, comes under control. Now it's one-on-one -on -one with Schmunk, and he beats Schmunk offside. And uh, Syracuse, I think, sense a little momentum change, Dave. Syracuse back within three at 10 to seven, and suddenly piling up the shot advantage, and a number of those shots are obviously going in. But for the first quarter of this game, remember, Rutgers had the lead in the shot department. And one thing interesting also is the, the fact that Holbrook knocked the ball down and forced a faceoff. Otherwise, Syracuse wouldn't have had uh, a chance to get the ball. And uh, the, they're hustling, and I think, Dave, there's going to be a, a little difference here in the third quarter for Syracuse. Syracuse uh, opening up a 10 ground ball advantage as well as they have suddenly uh, stepped it up a notch or two. We'll be back with the third quarter face right after this. And this is a matchup that is made for lacrosse fans. Rutgers. What a game. And Syracuse, the third quarter, is about to begin. Syracuse sees the momentum late in the first half. 
but they're still down by three. And Pat McCabe is going out to face off for Syracuse. Pat McCabe will take the face off. What's the strategy here, Dale? Well, if, if he loses it, one, they got a, a big stick guy already out there on the man with the ball. And number two is sometimes you can do some things. You can poke that ball away and, uh, and, and do some different things with it. And uh, right now they got uh, Rutgers talking a little bit as uh, the Lappy, Nick Lappy, the Lappy's yeah, just, out there. So we'll watch closely now the faceoff to begin the third quarter. No, 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 no. He moved. Yeah, that's what happened. He moved. McCabe moved. And McCabe knocks it, it away. And he comes up with a loose ball. What a way to start. Here comes McCabe. He feeds the crease. Yes. Score. Jamie Archer. What a way to begin the third quarter. There's another reason why he's out there. <laughs> if he didn't lose the faceoff, as I said, he's right there to play defense. And he stuck his stick right in the face of Delappy when Delappy tried to make a, a pass. He tried to go left-handed. And you see what he did. He knocked it down. And now look at the stick. He takes that six-foot stick, looking for somebody open, cruises on to the middle of the field and looks to Archer, and Archer just waits till Schmunk commits, and then he puts it down low, and uh, Archer, second goal. And it is a 10-8 game. McCabe was really pumped up after that goal, playing to the crowd. This is Jamie Watson with it. Steve Lorenzo comes up with his best save of the game. Big save. Now Winship up ahead to Holbrook. He's got some room to operate. What's he going to do with it? He finds Tom Gilmartin. Syracuse looking to move within one. They were down by five. First at six to one, then at seven to two, then at eight to three, and they were down by six at ten to four. The Orange have scored the last four goals in this game. Matt Ryder. Back to that kind of packed in zone, and they go on out and play the man behind. Hard shot Go. score, Gil Martin, his third of the game, and it is 10 to 9. And All right, you're going to see what happens as they get the ball behind and Archer looking he gets the loops it up Ryder and then Ryder looking and now watch let it keep going now there's the shot okay I don't know if we're going to see it at the end but what happens is as you go back to the midfield these guys are pointing and talking a little bit and that's exactly what you want to happen we got to go back to live action but they got Rutgers rattled a little bit right that, at this point it's a swarming Syracuse team now Charlie Lockwood who's it off off Syracuse Syracuse has now scored five unanswered goals. They are within one at 10 to 9. John Schmunk, the goalie. Last chance in his career, in the regular season at least, to defeat Syracuse. Schmunk on the exchange with his defenseman. And Syracuse knocks that one down. The goalie has to come way out. Well, that's a, that's an in indication of how Syracuse is playing defense and riding. Now in close, they all converge. Here's another, another save. save by Di Lorenzo on the shot by Chris Pratt. Now they aren't starting to kick in all cylinders. Marichek moving without the ball goes back to get it and loses it. That's, that should be a push. It was. Marichek will trigger it in. Dom Finn has come on. He's been relatively quiet, hasn't he? John Barr. To Gil Martin has had himself quite a game. Three goals, one assist. Here he comes for the equalizer, and it's just wide. He was going stick side, and Schmunk got down on it. It was just wide. Good shot, though. Good backup. Now Syracuse with Marichek. This is where he likes to score. Amaya back there for it. Looks like uh, Rutgers going back to a man for man defensively. Syracuse out shooting Rutgers 33 to 21. No, nope, now they're back what they were doing before. Oh, Gil Martin lost the ball. They lost the stick. And back comes Rutgers now. Oh. 
And Rutgers has it with Cunningham. Barr is going to come from behind at him. Unsettled in front. And now Rutgers settles it down. Three minutes into the third quarter. Rutgers has gone about 14 minutes without a goal. And it ends right there. Watson. Syracuse had two men in the crease. McCabe helping out DiLorenzo. So it is now 11 9. They got him screened. That's the, that's the strategy. They got a lot of people in front. Oh, he actually does it just before the screen. He goes inside on the offside of DiLorenzo. So it's 11 to 9. And Watson happy as he thinks he's gotten his team back on track. A lot of time left. Procedure that'll be against Rutgers. So Yeruso loses one. Now Syracuse has a shot deflected. Gil Martin took it. And Jamie Archer now from behind will send it back in. The cutter for the moment was Kramer. Now Marichek. Now they doubled right there. Jackson in the locker doubled. You can see it. Watch, watch 23 and 40. Here's 23 right here, and here's 40. Watch. They're both going to come right over here, and watch what happens. They both go on the ball. They dump it off to the man who's free, and he takes the shot. Syracuse now back within one. If they get it tied up, you're going to hear this crowd really get into this one. Ryder to Archer. Steve Bettinger is coming on. Here's a shot from the top of the slot. No. Lockwood will back it out. Bettinger dealing it to Archer. Marichek. Smothered. Lockwood shot was smothered down on the ground. Ryder knocked it free. There was a man open in front if they could pick up the loose ball. Who's got it? Bettinger has it. He lost it. Uh oh, high Kramer, fly. Kramer knocked it in the air. Bettinger played it. Oh, Still up for grabs. Rutgers. Locker knocked away from him by Archer. Dug out by Ryder. This is good old fashioned lacrosse. Need a little mud in the Time pile. for a whistle. Hold Syracuse ball. Yeah, you do. You need a little mud down there, a little blood, and you're all set. They are, but you notice the intensity level, Dave, the Syracuse from the beginning, they are after everything, and they are not letting him clear the ball in transition. They are all over Rutgers. Down now, by one. Kramer's out there along with Lockwood, Archer, Marichek. Ricky Kramer looking for the screen, loses the ball. Good defense, but that's going to catch him on the head, perhaps. Yeah, that's going to be a slash. But Matt Hayden, Hayden, number 12, yep. and now it'll be the man up situation. With Syracuse trying to tie the game at 11 each. Syracuse, uh, one of two at this point. This is their third. This is where you want to take advantage of it. Their man up, as we mentioned last Wednesday, a couple days ago, not very effective. How about the man down defense, the two man down defense yeah. in the last minute of the first half? Did a great job. Gotta Andy Boland's on now. He's got the orange high tops. The feeder is Archer. Now Ryder. Now Lockwood. Tie game. You know, they are not adverse, and neither is number 44 from taking a long shot. That's an 11 or 12 yard shot, and uh, they have beaten Schmunk a couple times on those. Tom Gill Martin. They work the ball around, and you're going to see they're directing traffic. Now watch how far out they are for this shot when they eventually get the ball. They're going to loop it out, and you can see the, you can see the markers right there from the football. What do we got? About 12 yards. Yeah, that's a, that's a long shot, and they've beaten Schmunk a couple times with those. 
And we're tied at 11. Gil Martin's fourth goal of the game. Syracuse has never led. Nice move by DeLapi. Yeah. The Orange getting to the vacant spots quick. Luciano has four goals. He fires, and it's just wide. D defensively, they are really doubling the ball. They are forcing things to happen, and they are really playing people tough. And they're telling them, John Winship says he can't start with the ball there. Make him go back, back left, and that's exactly back right's where he goes. Here is Luciano. He has definitely been a thorn in the side of Syracuse. Now Jamie Watson. Gil Martin has him. Nine and a half minutes to go, third quarter, tied at 11. Nice wrap check. Doesn't work. Chris Pratt. Oh, oh, oh. the helicopter move. Whoa, ho, ho. that's a highlight. He used to call that his helicopter check. Yeah, well, he's still the, got it. The Whirly Bird. That's a Sikorsky plus. Now they got to clear the ball. McCabe wings it way downfield. Goalie was out. Yeah, and the goalie is still out. And the ball is still loose. And Winship is coming on to get it. McCabe is like a coach out there, isn't he? Yeah. John Barr, Maracek to his right. Across to Archer. Back up by Ryder. Rutgers not into their settled defense. Archer sneaks in and scores. Now they got him talking. Jamie Archer puts Syracuse up at 12 to 11, their first lead of the game. And that man's not getting a lot of help. They really unsettled situation. Ryder gets the ball and pops it right back up. And they're not getting out. They run out and get the man with the ball, but they left the lane open and let Archer sneak from behind, and nobody got a body on him. They couldn't get a stick on him. So it wasn't Schmunk's fault so much as he didn't get much help from his defense on that play. Fazy back into it. Archer, the leading scorer for Syracuse on the year with 45 points. And that faceoff uh, gap is narrowing. Narrowing, yes. Syracuse by one. Steve Bettinger. Now the Orangemen moving the ball smartly, setting up the laser. They have been taking shots. I said that. That was a 15-yarder, 12 to 15 yards. They are not afraid to take that because that, those people are sunk back in. And when they start, they say, well, if you can score from 15 yards, we'll give it to you. And he just did. Timeout taken by Rutgers as Syracuse has scored nine goals to just one for Rutgers over the last uh, quarter and a half. 8.18 to go here in the third quarter. It is now Syracuse 13 and Rutgers 11. You know, Dave, it's kind of comparable when you set up the kind of a zone defense in basketball and you force everybody out and they start popping three-pointers on you. It really makes things difficult, and that's what Syracuse has been doing, taking those long shots. And uh, Gil Martin uh, and now Lockwood have really been uh, well-placed in hard, low hoppers past Schmunk. And the one thing that lacrosse has that basketball doesn't is you can come out from behind the basket, come out of nowhere, and sneak in through the back door. It would be nice for basketball to make a little area in back. Extend the court about 10 well, feet. Well, you know what most people don't realize? On a regulation-sized court, there's more room yeah. between the backboard and the baseline than, than people realize. That's right. <laughs> nice crowd here giving applause to the Orangemen. Up by two now who were in desperate straits at one point. Here's a look at the common opponents. Both with losses to Johns Hopkins and each with a win over St. Johns. Syracuse leading it now 13 to 11. And uh, this faceoff still up for grabs. Everybody pointing procedure against Rutgers. Syracuse ball. Don Finn replaces Bob Fazy. Here he comes into your picture. He hasn't scored in the game yet, hasn't hit anybody either. Yeah. 
They have eight minutes to go. Oh. Lockwood steps through. Lockwood feeds the crease. Kramer looks for the opening. <laughs> and it is 14 to 11. Mike Rogers is the last line of defense, 44. Watch him. He's in there as Lockwood beats him out and then dishes off. Watch, see three guys collapse on him. Now here's the Kramer goes inside and watch. The goalie's going to come out and play him and it actually bounces off of Rogers and Rogers is in, sunk in the cage and not able to bounce it out. Nice try defensively, but Kramer up with an important goal for Syracuse. His first of the game, there's Fazy. Well, this time it's won by Nick DeLappi. DeLappi trying to get Rutgers back into it. A fan on the shot. Borges misses the rebound. And Fazy legs it upfield. With a pass played oh. at the shoot tops by Marichek. What a job by Marichek. He scores. And the onslaught continues. 15 to 11. Marichek shaken up after the shot. He says he's okay. It is 15 to 11. It was 10 to 7 at the half. Watch this. He really came down and got that ball out of nowhere. I don't know how he made the grab, Marichek. And then he starts down. A couple of split dodges. Goes left handed. Sees Laser Lockwood in front of him looking for somebody else for help. And then he says, I'll just take it myself left handed as he's got Schmunk to commit. And. Uh, Injured a little bit on that. Syracuse has now scored more goals in eight minutes than they had in the entire first half. There's your first hit by Finn. Was that Finn? Yeah. My goodness. Five eight one fifty eight. Dom Finn. John Barr with it now. Syracuse fifteen. Rutgers eleven. Oh, good defensive work against Barr. Reed Jackson legging it out of there for Rutgers. He's in trouble. That's the difference between the first quarter and the third quarter. It Syracuse. looks like they're playing 15 on 10. Yeah, they're all over the place. They give it up to Luciano. He shoots it into a crowd, and there's DiLorenzo. Remember the save he made to open this half. Back comes Gil Martin. Gil Martin with Winship. Yeah. They'll wait till uh, John goes back and gets on sides and uh, Andy Boland now. Boland has got the ball. There comes Jamie Archer. Archer, low shot, nice save. Rebound, there's Finn in there. Archer for the scoop. Push, Syracuse. Watch what Archer does. Watch him go and then come back the other side to right handed and then releases the ball while he's going backwards. Nice job by Schmunk. See how he swept that stick down and fouled up with his body? And then you're going to see the push. It's going to give Syracuse the ball back. And they work it from behind with Marichek against Mike Rogers. Marichek in his favorite spot. Oh, he went with the backhand. Schmunk covers up. And Marichek stuck his stick up and interfered with the goalie. He thinks he was outside the crease. Interference. Well, as long as he's got the ball in there, when he reaches out with the stick, that's the, he's got protection. There's that cylinder that you can't see it because it's invisible. So Syracuse loses the ball on interference call. 547, third quarter. Four goal lead, 15 to 11. There's the first quarter. Shots, ground balls, and faceoffs. You look at the comparison. Syracuse picking up the pace just That's before up, half. Up to date. Your game numbers with Syracuse with a big shot advantage, leading in ground balls and getting close in the faceoffs. This will be a third quarter to remember. Flag is down. Cross check and a hold. What do we got here? Right. Cross check hold. 
30 seconds. You can't hold them with the stick is what it is. They used to just call them holds. Now they call them, if you do it with the stick, it's a cross-check hold. So they'll be down a man for 30 seconds. So Rutgers' sixth opportunity. You know, Dale, it'll be interesting to find out after the game uh, how close Roy Simmons came to pulling DiLorenzo out of the nets in the first half and why he elected to stay with him. Yeah, it's always a good question. Right now, they're going to play good man down defense. Gorgeous fanning. And there's McCabe. He won the second half uh, faceoff. In a sense, he won it. Look at they got the big two big sticks out there playing offense. Nice save by Schmunk, but the ball is down. And Borges has it with a loop feed ahead. Well, this will be good. Syracuse's Archer back to play it in the midfield area. Crowd is roaring. Well, they're relentless. Syracuse has now become relentless. And uh, they're going to let. Ryder from behind. McCabe go back Ryder on got sides. the step. Tom Finn coming into the picture now. Oh, nice one by Kramer. Did that get the pipe? I think he got his knee. I think he got a leg on it. Maybe a pipe. Good position by Schmunk. He's done a real good job as they have really peppered him. They're up to 47 shots on that man. Matt Hayden comes on and replaces Nick DeLapi. Finn going down. See how many guys are on him? They caused the ball. That's the things they were not doing in the first quarter and three quarters of the second quarter. Matt Ryder, right in front of Tom Hayes. He had to watch that. The Rutgers coach. 15-11 Syracuse. A back down move. Who's got it? Charlie Lockwood. He gets an angle. Oh, a little bit He's going too high. for the high bounce. Yeah, he went for the high bounce. Well placed, obviously not in the goal, but well placed and a, a good shot. Marichek now got it behind. The Kramer with Finn. Dom Finn with it now. To the top of the slot. He's still with it. He scored. Oh, I oh. thought that hit the pipe. Yes, it did hit the pipe. Still a shot. It'll be Rutgers' ball. Oh, they got it. Good scoop. Can they hold the ball, though? Syracuse has been taking everything away. Here's a two-on-one, and they throw it away. Flag down, so it'll be a penalty against Syracuse. A classic two-on-one break, and they just threw it away. That'll be a seventh man-up opportunity now, I believe, for Rutgers. Rutgers had a lead in this game of 10 to 4. So Syracuse has now outscored them. 11 to 1. Wow. Whew. And look at this defense, Dave. Uh, this is the seventh occasion. Rutgers has yet to score on a man up. Syracuse man down defense doing a good job. Two men down at one point. Steve Locker with Borges outside. And really uh, shut down Luciano for quite a while in this game. No, 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 no. Brad is open. Scores. First man up, and Pratt puts it up high past DiLorenzo as they shifted around but couldn't get on Pratt. Watch him get the ball back going the other way. Monet gets it. Now he starts behind. Gets it out, and Pratt able to get the stick in the steps and goes high. Goal number 12 for Rutgers. So Syracuse only a three-goal lead. Lots of time left. But is there enough time for Rutgers to regain momentum? Well, he needs a couple of face-offs. They, they got, got one, here. one here. Jamie Watson now. Watson in close to Pratt. He scores again. There you go. Even as we speak, momentum shifts that quickly in the game of lacrosse. As we said, the face-off of crucial importance, and the ball was down here in a, of a scrum. Watson up with it, and good speed. Watch him streak down the wing and looking for somebody to pass to. 
And then he gets it off. So Pratt up with the goal. Face-off man is Gil Martin this time. Well, they both clamped it there. Now they're just trying to push each other off the ball. Gil Martin goes completely head over heels. Here comes Don Finn. The fake, a score. Yeah, the flying fin. <laughs> you talk about the face-off, you're going to see that the power here. Both guys clamped the ball, then they scooped it out to one side. The wingman, Dom Finn, came in from the wing. He's the offensive mini, and he just says, if nobody picks me up, I'm going to take a shot. And he goes high, and he had him dead to rights because Schmunk never even saw that one. Dom uh, left both feet. Off the ground as he uncorked that one. Pratt missing. Save. Here is Cunningham. Back to Pratt. Now Luciano. 16-13 is our score. Oh, they let that guy free. There he is again. Boy, he has been open on the crease. No help for DiLorenzo. None at all. And Pratt, with three goals in about a minute, makes it a 16-14 game. Let's look at this here. We're going to get a chance to see, as they dish the ball off, watch where he comes from. Right there, he's all by himself, and nobody able to even slide over and give him any help, I think, at the last minute. McCabe slid over, but he was open on the crease, back to a two-goal lead. Three goals in under a minute. Four goals in this game in under a minute. Dave Patain is just wailing on Watson. But Watson does come out of there with it. <laughs> Defender lost his stick. Watson giving it up. In close. Oh, they blew the open shot. Monet had an open shot, and he just missed it. I'll tell you, DiLorenzo's lost his stick three or four times. He lost it that time, too. And I'll tell you, Patain's hurt. Luciano. Oh, wide. He was nice jump. He beat Hans Schmidt, 36 in there. But couldn't put it on. So Syracuse had a lead of 15 to 11. Now it's 16-14. Cunningham on Gil Martin. Gives it up. Oh, Watson had a good shot. De Lorenzo is out. He cheaps it out of there. Flag down. This is going to be some fourth quarter. That's Patain walking off. He had a knee injury at one point in his career. I hope he's all right. He has been playing a heck of a lacrosse game for Syracuse. Big stick mini. Dale, have you ever seen a 20-20 game with both teams score in the 20s? Not usually, I'll tell you that. I saw one once in the North-South All-Star game. Yeah, but that's just all offense right. generally, right? You're not running a lot. Could of happen here. We're 16-14 in the final minute of the third quarter. Intercepted. Nice play by Rodgers. Intending for Locker, he lost right. the stick. You know what's great about that? Now, now this is not a big deal because nobody will see it. Winship did a great job of checking Locker's stick and holding it down. He couldn't jump up and try to save the ball, so Syracuse gets the ball. It's a small thing, but those are the things that make a big difference. John Winship, 39, nice job. They love Lee, says the banner, and they almost got to see Lee in the first half. The backup goalie, Lee Hine. Bolin's on now. Down to 20 seconds. Bill Martin took that shot. He's got four goals already. He has been looking right from there and outside of that. 12, 15 yard shots. He's looking again. No, outside. outside. Five seconds to go. Bill Martin gets it. He's got to shoot. No. No shot. End of the third quarter. One of the best we have ever seen as Syracuse came from a 10-7 deficit 
to take a 16-14 lead. Don't go away. We'll be right back. We are back with you, and we're glad you're with us now. If you've just joined us, stay till the end. Yeah, it's not over. You missed a tremendous third quarter in which Syracuse came from a 10-7 deficit to take a 15-11 lead. It's now 16-14. You look at the, the stats, shots, look at that, 52-28. to 28. Saves DiLorenzo having a tough time early, and uh, all the rest of the stats kind of speak for themselves. For 18 to 14, the faceoff department is going to make it 19 to 14 as Rutgers just got another one. Borges, number 45, controlling the action for Rutgers. Steve Locker's 23, and this is Steve Luciano had four goals early in the game. He's been quiet since. He oh. feeds it. Oh, and Pratt missed that one. Pratt has four goals, as does. Tom Gilmartin for Syracuse. They doubled some people and left some people open the crease. They've had some defensive lapses on occasion, but they've made up in intensity what they lacked in positioning the last quarter. See DiLorenzo fake going out of the cage to double up. Anything to get an edge. Looks like Rutgers going back to that very deliberate offense that was successful early. Here's Tom Badger. Big high shot. Good defense. They got a stick on him there, and that's what made the shot go high. That's the defense doing their job. Pratt and Marichek, what a matchup this is. Pratt has some great stick skills. Rewarded there. Now that was McCabe all over him, and he got a ward out of it. Tom Marichek in the game. Has uh, four goals for himself. We've got four players with four goals. That's Dom Finn trying to headman Gil Martin. Now going to Ryder and Archer. Marichek now. Ricky Kramer made the move and fired high. Been a lot of, a lot of face-offs. We had 30 goals scored in this game. Archer need one, needs uh, one more goal for four of his own. Kramer moving right in front of the banner that has his name on it. Little Marichek one on one with Mike Rogers. Marichek likes to go to the behind the back. He tried to get the shot away as he was falling. Schmunk has it. Reed Jackson now. Ryder pursuing from behind. Archer cutting off the angle in front of him. Kramer is on Borges. And Gilmartin defending here against Locker. I don't know if it hit the top pipe. Bar. Stays. Rutgers. And that man has been busy. Jerry DiLorenzo has got saves six. But they have taken 30 shots at him. And he was very busy in the first quarter. Luciano, one on one with Winship. Now Borges against Doyle. Rutgers keeps it. Rutgers led at the end of one quarter of this game. Six to two. A lot of picking and rolling on this uh, on the crease. A lot of guys setting picks, and that's exactly what causes problems for a defense. Tom Badger against Matt Moore. Rutgers led at the half, ten to seven. Syracuse led 16-14 after three. Moore is hurt. I saw him. His ankle turned, and he wanted to get out because he knew he was not going to be able to do any guarding. And that are going to send DeBurn Reed in if they take an official timeout. You lose a lot of offense, though, when you substitute Reed for Moore. Well, they want him in there for defensive purposes now. They'll make another change later. See that crease? Them all picking up there. John Monet, 14. He's still stationed right in there. This is Luciano scoring. And it is a one-goal game, 16-15. The fifth goal of the game for Steve Luciano. Luciano came in with a great reputation. He's done nothing to diminish it. He gets his fifth goal. 
and he's just going to go down the wing and he's going to work Winship and he brings Winship back inside and he gets down low and he's just able to take a good shot on goal even though you don't give him much room. So now Rutgers within one of tying this game. Syracuse finally tied it at 11. Patane, he's back. And drawing a double team on the sideline, so he gives it up nicely to Don Finn. 16-15. Oh, he was looking for he was looking for 42 Marichak, but ankle injury for Matt Moore. Watson still has the ball. Nice feed from Watson. Offside, Intended I think. Intended for Monet. That's Syracuse going to be offside. So that's going to be another man up opportunity. They've won for seven, but the last one they came up with was the last one they had. So this is not a good opportunity for Syracuse. They are not out of the woods yet. A lot of time left, and they could be tied up here in the momentum after a Really crazy third quarter for Syracuse. Settled down and now swinging back and forth right now. It's a man up opportunity for Rutgers. Rutgers needs one to tie. They led for the entire first half. Oh, that's off a Rutgers stick. Yes, it is. Nice job by McCabe. Now Syracuse is just going to he may just get rid of it. Let's see if he can run it out. Mike Doyle with it now. Looping it ahead for Eric Holbrook. They get it in the box. Yes, that, that eliminates the penalty. Now as Doyle leaves the field. This Finn comes across to midfield as Marichek works. Obviously, they're all important. I think if Syracuse can go up by two, this would give them some momentum again. They have kind of been stuck here for a while for the way the scoring's been going in this game. Ten and a half minutes in the fourth quarter. What a shot! That Tom Marichek. That's a dandy. <laughs> That's a darn nice shot. I don't know how he did it. And Marichek. There he is, kind of shamming down there by the side, just waiting for something to happen. Now he, so he makes a break for the crease when he sees his man head look upfield, and then that guy goes up to double, and Marichek says, I'll just take this kind of backhanded. Yeah, five goals for Tom Marichek. That was a high backhand. Yeah. See what we got for faceoff. We got Patane down here with the big stick racing in from the wing. And picking it up. 17-15. He's an invaluable player. He Bramer just does now. a great job. We're indoors in the dome, but it's cold and windy in here again. <laughs> but it's a heck of a game. Better than being outside. Yeah, it'd be cold, windy, and wet. Oh, nice move. Top of the key. Off a body yeah. somewhere. Looks like Kramer had that shot. Nice Rat. check. Ratton McCabe. McCabe. And Ricky Kramer scoops it up. Nine and a half minutes to go now. Good hustle. Syracuse leading 17-15. Marichek five goals. Gil Martin four. So you can hear that. He's behind, front left, take him, pick him. Cut, watch your cutter. There's Gil Martin making the move, the dodge, the shot. He got a stick, he got a stick put on him right at the last minute by Delappy. Nice job by 34, Delappy. Tom Marichek's career high for goals in a game, six. And it was against Rutgers in 89. 
Marichek also has one assist in the game, so he's already equal his uh, point total high. Once had eight in the game. Well, Syracuse being very patient, is swinging the ball around, hoping to get these guys shifted and take a long shot, and it has worked. Tommy Gilmartin with his fifth goal. That's a career best for him at Syracuse. He's a transfer from Maryland, and now Syracuse leads it 18 to 15. Nice shot. This went about 10 yards out from Gilmartin as they see they swing over to the ball. Watch, watch the red guys go to the ball, and as they pop it back, they got a quick run and go next spot, but they bypass and get it right there. Now when they start to go, it gives them a little more time to take a shot, and it's about a medium-sized shot in terms of length. Jamie Archer gets his fourth assist of the game. Good, good shot there, guys. Great look at what goes on out there. Hacking and hewing, metal shards flying. They feed the crease. Save! <laughs> and then... What hustle by John Winship. That's the things that make a lacrosse game. Good hustle. Oh! Amaya Good was job. the intended man. They steal it, feed the crease. DiLorenzo come out to throw a check. Now McCabe rushing it back. Coach McCabe, boy, he has another sense out there, doesn't he? Amaya can't reach this one. Not with that leg, he can't. Oh, and they know they threw that opportunity away. That was, a, that was the, co the coffin, the last nail in the coffin, and they didn't get a chance to do it. They threw it away, and John Desco was down on his knees. We're midway through the fourth quarter. 18-15 Syracuse. What a game. This is a great game. Rutgers has played a tremendous game. They have not given up. They're still hanging in there, and they're coming at Syracuse. And they can score in bunches. We saw Pratt score three times in under a minute in the third quarter. 18-15. Here's the, the weave, the wheel by Rutgers. They're taking it. Locker against Moores back in the game. Matt Moores returned. There's David Patain. Fakes a shot. He's coming in. Behind <laughs> the back. Behind the back. David Patain with the big stick and all. What a great job. David Patain, we've been talking about him. And what a super job as DiLorenzo came up big with a save. He's been in spurts. And then he popped it out. David Patain, this one's all yours. That's right. And watch, Patain goes down. He's even going to fake a shot here. Keeps going down the wing. Look, there's the fake. Now he draws him over, draws him over, and then goes right behind the back. Third goal of the year. Nice job. And that was the one they needed, I think, at 7.08. And it's fitting that Dave Patain picked it up. He has done a super job today at big stick defensive midfielder. And this has been nobody left, nobody's left. Everybody says, what a way to spend a Saturday afternoon. 4,183 people got their money's worth. They'll be talking about this for a long time. Yep. These two guys have been busy. Yeah. A lot of rubber flying. And the, the save ratios it's percentages the, are, are really low for two guys who are DiLorenzo is ranked fourth in the country and Schmunk 17th. And you got to credit this crowd, which has been behind the team the whole game. Yeah. We remarked several times. How they uh, give, had given Syracuse standing ovations when they were trailing to try to let them know they were still behind them. And it's worked. 19-15. Rutgers ahead in the faceoffs, 20-16. We talked about it that at the top of the show. It was going to be important, and it has been. Patain on again. Nice feed to Gil Martin. He elected to run some clock instead of go for the shot. Syracuse has averaged 22 goals a game for the last four. And they're about 
on that pace again. For well, a long while, didn't look like it, did it? No, you know, and it's nice to have a game like this. I, I don't mean it's, it's nice in the fact that it worries you, but you're going to have games like this. It's nice to know that you can come back. There's still a lot of time left, but you picked up the intensity level. You had a bad day at the beginning, and uh, you shook it off. You can see Syracuse definitely a running clock now. Oh, sure. Oh, he's going to get killed. <laughs> 45. What are we going to call a technical hold? or a, Yeah, that's a hold. 45 red. 45 so red hold. that'll set Borges down for uh, 30 seconds. Look at the man up opportunities for Syracuse. They've had two in. Out of four, this is their fifth. This Rutgers team is impressive, Dave. Oh, yeah. They have uh, all the athletes they need to compete. Tommy Gilmartin, a shot ricocheting out to Mike Rogers, and now here's a break. Good speed. Watson. Jamie Watson did He's had great motor. speed. And he fires instead of passing it. He had too many. Could have given it up to. Maybe a little bit ill-advised to take that shot. He got the release, though, so they're all even. He got the release. After this one, Rutgers plays at Massachusetts. They have a week off. And they finish up with Army at home. Oh, look at the double. Uh-oh. Locker with a feed. Chris Pratt leaves it back there for Luciano. We're down to 5.15 to go. Syracuse by four. Orangeman take it away for the moment. Bolin did a job Locker there. Locker gets it back. DiLorenzo came out to play Pratt. Chopped him at the knees. Red, Red ball. ball, Rutgers ball. Getting that movement in front of De Lorenzo. Now they clear out. Well, Watson holding on to it for a while. He mugged him. Going to call a hold. Yeah, cross check hold. They central parked him right down there. So it'll be man down for Syracuse. Rutgers has had eight opportunities. They are one of eight. Next week, Syracuse, by the way, is home against the uh, Penn Quakers. Then they close out the regular season on the road at UMass and Adelphi. See how quick they toss that Bad ball. Pass. Yeah, I'm just going to say. They were doing a nice job of passing the ball around, but they lost it. The pass went outside. It was Pratt. Cunningham was expecting it inside, right. and Tom Hayes grabbed his head in disbelief and dismay with four and a half minutes to go. But they're going to try to close them off here and see if they can't make DiLorenzo handle the ball. Mike Doyle has it. He uses his goalie. Gives yeah. it back to Doyle. That's yeah. give and go. <laughs> Doyle now for Winship. Winship, the big defenseman coming in. Will he want to get in the action? Scoring column. Dom Finn outside. Nice step through move. Nice pass, it turns out, to be to Ryder. And Marichek. Four minutes to go. Down to four minutes. 19-15 Syracuse. Going to be a demoralizing loss, you would think, for Rutgers. Charlie Lockwood. Don't forget, we'll select our Pepsi player of the game. That's going to be a difficult choice, Dale. Yeah, absolutely. Very difficult. You mentioned some people would be in the offense. I think Patane played a, an especially good game. You know, I agree with you. Despite five goals by Marichek and four by Gilmartin, or five by Gilmartin. Ricky Kramer scores to give Syracuse a 20-goal game. 
Remember, it was David Patain who made that defensive play at midfield near the end of the first half and fed Jamie Archer. And that made it 10 to 7 and really put Syracuse on their way. It's the little thing sometimes, and that's uh, the hustle on defense, and uh, Patain's done it. Here's the goal, by the way. There's a wrap check. Can't get it off there. Takes the low left hand stick side. Hopped up over Schmunk. Second goal of the game. By the way, with all this scoring in the game, we got to congratulate Karen Ryan, our yeah. super statistician today, doing like triple duty up here, and logging the goals and the assists and counting the shot saves, ground balls, man up goals, face offs, clears. And shots, and they, uh, that was shot number 60 for Syracuse. So they peppered Schmunk, who I think played very well. He has. What a disappointing loss this will be for Rutgers if it happens. Under three minutes to go in a five goal lead. 20 to 15. Syracuse going to slow it down a tad, I think. They went into this with about six, seven minutes to go. Marichek has it taken away. Marichek is down. Slow to his feet. He's been taking a lot of shots this season. He's apparently okay with 2.26 to go. Eric Holbrook now. Down to two minutes and five seconds to go. Oh, that was McKay in the offense. He also played a, a very good game, did some great things defensively. Hacken and Hewen there was That's right. Tom Marichak, and McCabe has it. Minute 45 to go, and Syracuse knows they have this game won. Jamie Archer feeding inside, taken away. At midfield with a minute and a half to go, Scott Healy. Luciano has not scored since very early in the game. Luciano's last goal, his fourth, oh. came 48 seconds into the second quarter, and then they shut him off. Now they just, they just popped one McCabe, or I think McCabe popped a stick off his head. So I think they're going to be manned down again. Minute 17 to go. Not enough time to make up five goals. That's Gil Martin walking off. He's had a good game. Tremendous game. Tremendous. Five goals, one assist. He's won eight of 18 faceoffs. Check how Fazy did on faceoffs. Borges and Cunningham. Locker, Luciano. Monet, Cunningham. One minute to go. And these fans have been behind Syracuse all game long. Save. Will soon be rising to their feet to congratulate this come from behind effort. David Patain. And the ball comes upfield now to Marichek. Marichek to Kramer. What's the story here? Offsides? Did they fail to advance it? Procedure? I don't know. I didn't even see it. 33 seconds to go. Downfield. Jerry DiLorenzo going the route. In the cage. Oh, good check. Stick on stick. You heard it. Yep. It was a nice check by Doyle, one of the defensive midfielders. 20 seconds to go and a great come from behind effort by Syracuse. Down by six goals at 10 to 4. They took the lead at 12 11. 
So a Rutgers come within one, but now at five seconds to go, Syracuse is going to win it. The last save, save by DiLorenzo. That's it. And a big, big come from behind win that puts a big smile on the face of Roy Simmons. His 201st career victory and a hard earned one at that. And I don't know what words of consolation we can offer to Rutgers, but they've just played their hearts out. A tremendous effort by Rutgers, and what's he going to say? It's a very tough situation, but a great lacrosse game. We'll be back with our tough choice of Pepsi player of the game right after this. Back with you in the Carrier Dome where Syracuse climbed out of a deep hole in the first half and came back to win this game 20 to 15 over the Scarlet Knights of Rutgers who have not beaten Syracuse now since 1955. And uh, Dale, we were thinking back to the 1983 championship game when Johns Hopkins had a lead of 12 to five on Syracuse and this ranks as one of the bigger comebacks Pretty since close. that time. Absolutely. It was an excellent game for Rutgers, too. you got to feel sorry for Coach Hayes and the staff. They did a great job. They were into the game, and they just came up short. But uh, they hustled, and uh, it was a great lacrosse game. Tom Marichek, five goals in the game. Five goals for Tom Gilmartin. Big game for Jamie Archer. Four goals, four assists. But, but. the Pepsi <laughs> player of the game is this man, number 24, David Patain. He made quite a play before the half ended, and then this one here in the fourth quarter. He does it behind the back. Out of West Genesee High School, he's a kid who had a knee injury, had to take a year off, uh, worked in a car wash, was still going to school. A really nice kid, and uh, I really think we set a momentum changer today. Not only with his offense here, as he fakes his shot, and he's going to go behind his back and score a goal, but he just did a tremendous job, the big stick defense, defensive midi, and uh, watch the goal, though. It's pretty. Boop. And uh, he did it all day, not only offensively, but defensively. He really did a great job. And so David Patain becomes our Pepsi player of the game. And Syracuse wins their seventh game of the year, the number seven ranked Syracuse Orangemen. And they now have a record of uh, seven and two. And Rutgers falls now to six and four on the year. Pat McCabe, who faced off to begin the second half, and uh, he really got pumped up. He did some great things yeah. also, saving some balls, knocking some things back in when they should have gone out. That's the kind of hustle that uh, they really brought him back. Tom Marichek taking his lumps, but um, putting the ball in the nets. He had five more goals today, and Syracuse wins it 20-15 to 15 over Rutgers. One more home game one week from uh, today. Against the Penn Quakers here in the Carrier Dome. We'll have that one for you on many of these same cable systems. We hope you'll be with us for that one. And we hope you enjoyed it today. A great come from behind win. Now speaking for Dale Drypolcher and our statistician Karen Ryan, this is Dave Cohen. Thanks for being with us. This has been a presentation of Super Sports and Cook Cablevision of Syracuse.